Donald Trump has been facing a ton of backlash online for the migrants eating cats and dogs message that he has been spreading recently. But despite this being debunked, people on the right are still online and spreading the message. And this caused Biden's spokeswoman to snap at a MAGA host during a fiery press briefing today. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at that clip, but first, I wanna show you Donald Trump doubling down on the migrants eating cats and dogs message because it is just super disgusting how he keeps pushing this rhetoric. Just take a look at these clips. In Springfield, Ohio, 20,000 illegal Haitian migrants have descended upon a town of 58,000 people destroying their way of life. They've destroyed the place. And people don't like to talk about it because even the town doesn't like to talk about it because it sounds so bad for the town. They live there. They're proud. They love the town. For years, it was a great place, safe, nice. Now they have 20,000, and I actually heard today it's 32,000. It's the new number. The mayor of Springfield, Ohio, the police chief, the Republican governor of Ohio have all debunked this story about people eating pets. And now there are bomb threats at schools and kids being evacuated. Why do you still spread no, no, this no. story? The real threat is what's happening at our border. Because you have thousands of people being killed by illegal migrants coming in and also dying. You have women dying as they come up. They're coming up in large groups, we call it a caravan. I think I came up with that name, but it's really what it is. 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 people. Mr. President, Springfield, Ohio is experiencing a migrant crisis. Will you yes. an event there to show the media what's actually happening, maybe a town hall? Well, we could, and maybe we'll do that. Where are you from? That's good. Very good. They're doing a very good job. Yeah, that's very good. No, I, I will, maybe Springfield, uh, maybe Aurora, maybe both. We'll go there. Uh, I can say this, uh, we will do large deportations from Springfield, Ohio, large deportations. We're going to get these people out. We're bringing them back to Venezuela. You know, he told Biden he's not accepting anybody back. They moved all their criminals, not all of them, but the rest are moving in now. They emptied their jails in Venezuela, emptied their criminals, emptied the nests. They call them nests of bad people. They're all now in the United States and they're now taking over cities. It's like an invasion from within. And we're going to have the largest deportation in the history of our country. And we're going to start with Springfield and Aurora. So yeah, it is just so unbelievable that he continues to inflate this issue that is not even an actual issue. And this rhetoric is even going all the way up to the Biden administration because his spokeswoman had to snap at a MAGA host during this fiery press briefing today. So take a look at that clip. But do you, do you take this personally when a com the community is a target of attack as it is at the moment in Springfield. I, I take it personally when any community, any vulnerable community is attacked. Not just, not just a community that I belong to uh, and proudly belong to, but any community, any vulnerable community that is attacked, wrongfully so, in a hateful way. I, one of the things that I'm proud about in being part of this administration is that we condemn that type of stuff. We condemn that type of hateful language. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going to continue to do. And I get to do that on behalf of President Biden, who also condemns that type of hateful rhetoric, as you have heard him today and many times before, when a vulnerable community is attacked. That's not what national leaders should be. Political leaders should not be attacking vulnerable communities. That's not who we should be. And if they're going to fall for conspiracy theories online, maybe they shouldn't be our leaders. Maybe they shouldn't be. Uh, but it is on all of us. It doesn't matter if you're Haitian American, if it doesn't matter if you're Jewish American, it doesn't matter if you're Muslim, it doesn't Muslim American, all of us should come together. When we hear that type of hateful rhetoric, we should come together and have each other's backs and call it out because it's not okay. It is dangerous. It is dangerous. It puts people's lives at risk. And this president is going to continue to stand up and speak against it. Go ahead, Patsy. Thank you, Corinne. Uh, one last it's, it's not funny. I, I know I'm you want to make... I, 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 wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. It's not funny. I I, wait, no. It I is not. Wait, I'm answering. Let me answer. 
Are there stop. In vulnerable communities? Not everybody wants to hear the sound of your voice, sir. Give me a second, and I will tell you my answer. It's not funny, Patsy. So it was just amazing to see her completely shut down that MAGA host because we could all tell that that was supposed to be a gotcha moment. So I'm glad that she did not let that slide and took the time to call him out for his terrible intentions. But we can expect even more crazy stunts and statements like this from Trump and other MAGA Republicans if he wins in November. So we all need to get out and vote to make sure that doesn't happen.